NASA studies how space vehicles perform as they enter the atmosphere of planets by using specialized research facilities. One of these is the Hypervelocity Free Flight Facility at Ames Research Center at Moffett Field, California. Researchers use scale models of space vehicles that are not much larger in diameter than a penny. The models are propelled up to 20 times the speed of sound through a 75-foot long test section to simulate atmospheric entry. The test section can be filled with air or CO2 at low pressures, simulating high altitude. Planetary probes enter the atmosphere at much higher speeds than can be replicated by using a conventional gun to propel the models. In the 1960s, NASA addressed this by developing a hydrogen-propelled gun technology called a two-stage light gas gun. Models can be fired at velocities up to 8 kilometers per second, or about 18,000 miles per hour. The models come in a variety of shapes, so they are encased in sleeves called sabots to ensure a consistent fit in the barrel of the gun. The facility is ready for the test. The sabot separates, allowing the model to fly down the range. In this test, the model is fired through a partial sheet to give it an oscillation, and we observe its flight in slow motion through the 16 measurement stations. The shock wave just in front of the model is very hot, thousands of degrees. Each test takes only a hundredth of a second. <laughs> 